All right, I'd like to call to order the audit committee. <laughs> Plus the uh, Plus River Black River Regulating District for uh, Pledge of Allegiance. <clears throat> Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For all. Uh, roll call. Mr. Chairman. David Burks Resser. Here. Thomas Stover. Excused. 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 Yep. Albert Hayes. Here. Mark Finkel. Here. Anthony Netto. Excused. Jeffrey Rosenthal. Here. Michael Clark. Here. Robert Leslie. Here. Robert Fulton. Here. John Hodgson. Here. Richard Ferrari. Here. Mr. Chairman. Thank you. I uh, need a motion to adopt or revise the meeting agenda and adopt the agenda. I make that motion. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Committee. Just be All right. I need a motion to approve the May 13th, 2014 Audit Committee meeting Second. minutes. I'll make that motion. I will second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Hope not. All right. Committee business. Uh, presentation. The regular, the independent audit. Mr. Ferrari, you want to explain anything? Yeah, quickly. Right. On pages seven through uh, thirty forty-one is the most recently completed independent audit of the districts, June thirtieth, two thousand fourteen uh, audit, which included. Uh, for this year, a restatement of June 30th, 2013. On page 8 on the top, which would be the second page of the Independent Auditor's Report, uh, under Opinion, i just point out that, once again, the uh, audit firm, in this case, this is KBL, who's, this is their first year doing our audit, uh, considered uh, the Financials of the district to be in order, and once again, we have an unqualified audit opinion. Um, further down, under emphasis of matter, uh, note 14, which I believe is on page 36 page of the packet. That's the restatement of the June 30th, 2013 Consolidated Financials, and that had to do with uh, the amount due Fulton County for 889000 which should have been treated as a payable, and actually in 2013 was just included uh, in the huge $7 million write-off. So it was, it was a bookkeeping, but it was large enough to uh, – really require a restatement, and the auditor elected to note it as an emphasis of matter, which at the end of the day is not a big deal. <coughs> but I point it out to the board. On page, um, I'll just jump around here, there's a couple other items. So as you see on, page, on 12 of the board packet, under the operations summary, you'll see under Hudson River area, you have 2014, which is the current year in which they audited, and then next to that you see 2013 as restated. So they, they put that in the operations summary. And then I would point out under the notes to the financial statements on page 32 under number 8 contingencies, which has addressed largely the litigation that the district has been involved in, that that is a much more expanded um, notation of, of the matters at hand. And uh, this goes right through page 34. Again, uh, it doesn't, and, and council can correct me if I'm wrong, I don't believe it brings up any new items, it just gets into a little more, more, de de more detail more de on the things. Okay. And again, on page 36, where it has the uh, note 14 for the restatement, on the following page 37, it gets into the actual detail of the restatement. 
and uh, I really the rest of the audit was pretty much uh, what would be expected in our very uh, you know we don't have it's a static operation so there isn't anything new in terms of operations or sources of revenue or right. expense items so unless the board has any questions uh, this has been posted on the public authority report information system on time uh, and is also posted on the district's website. Okay. Is KBL going to do a presentation? KBL, correct. Okay. Monica, as usual. Richard Levychin is the partner. He was actually planning to come here, and uh, they're a small firm. Right. So I, I understood, you know, the, the issue and logistics of him getting up here. But he did pledge uh, that he would definitely, in the next <coughs> two years, which are – Options to mm -hmm. the contract. So, if we were to continue to stay with them, that he would, you know, present the next audit. Okay. So we just need to bring this up to the board. No, we, no? we do not. So we're all set. That is my report. Okay. All right. So, so there being no no further business. Make a motion to adjourn. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. All right. So.